Hey friends, welcome back to Hot News. Hope you're enjoying whatever day you're watching this on. A um, couple notes. One, uh, tomorrow on UFD Tech, we are gonna be uh, posting a pretty important announcement video, so stay tuned for that. For those of you who follow us on social media, you probably likely already know what it's going to be about, but um, tune into that to get a, a pretty significant, huge announcement uh, regarding the channel and my personal life. Number two, speaking of personal life, my son's currently in the hospital, so I need to go get this episode done and then move on out of here. And then let's get to number three, which is sponsor spot so I can pay for my son's medical visit. Display. <laughs> Check out Dope Metal Prints at displate.com forward slash UFD Tech Official. You get things like Goku. Linus even has official displates over there. They have the licensing for Cyberpunk 2077, so get a samurai displate if you want, or get whatever weeby crack if you want, or get like freaking nature stuff or geography. Just pick it up at the link in the video description. Use coupon code UFD to save 15% on your display purchase, okay? Make your place look gorgeous. Fortunately, they won't let me bring a display to the hospital. Otherwise, I'd, you know, slap it on there. My son's hospital bed would look amazing. Flyer than all the other kids. That's right. Sorry you're in the pediatric ICU. <sighs> My son's got it ball it. Anyways, I'm just gonna stop with that joke there. Let's go ahead and let's talk about Intel's joke. <laughs> or rather, their attempt, last attempt, at trying to hold off AMD with their 14 nanometer architecture because it's just not working. Obviously, we have the 9900KS coming out. I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit, but we have some leaks of their upcoming Cascade Lake X high-end desktop chips, specifically the i9 10900X or 10900X However they want us to pronounce it, I don't know. We'll find out. But according to the benchmarks, what we're seeing is that it is indeed better than the 9900X, roughly 5% on single core performance and roughly 10% on the multi-core performance, which actually isn't bad for year-on-year -year improvements. So 5% improvement is pretty good. However, that does partially come because of increases in clock speed. And I'm finding conflicting reports here. Video Cards is quoting that it's gonna have a 200 megahertz increase in base clock speed. Tom's Hardware is reporting a 500 megahertz increase in boost uh, base clock speed and only 100 gigahertz in boost clock speed so we'll have to see what the official numbers are but the geek bench score is pretty enticing however when we combine that with what intel uh discussed i believe it was at hot chips last month no it wasn't hot chips where was it where the frick were they presenting it was ifa yes at ifa they showed off that Cascade Lake X should be around two times the performance per dollar of their previous high-end desktop chips. With, if we just take the multi-core score, that would mean that the 10900X is 1.1 times performance per dollar of the 9900X. So the only way that Intel's actually gonna be able to make that performance per dollar mark actually work is by dropping the price. So hopefully one would really wants a 10900X to come in somewhere in the price region of 600 to 650 dollars anything more than that and then you start encroaching on the ryzen 9 3950x 16 core processor a 10 core 4.5 gigahertz 4.6 gigahertz boost processor from intel with their ipc could make it slightly competitive with the ryzen 9 3900x at 500 dollars but it's getting really wishy-washy when amd is just offering a ton more cores at the same price the current 9900X is coming in at $920, so there would have to be a significant price cut in order to make that double the performance per value statement come true with regards to the high-end desktop chips. And I'm sure Intel will never ever in their marketing slides compare the, the 10900X to the Ryzen 9 lineup, which is on AIM4, because then that would be comparing high-end desktop, which is Threadripper for them, to the mainstream system of AIM4. So a Intel's gonna stack the deck as far as marketing there, if I had to guess. But we'll have to see where it goes. 10% performance improvement has to be a price cut to meet the things that Intel has already said is going to happen, which is double the performance per dollar, and we can expect it to launch in October, according to Intel again at IFA. And then we have some information regarding the 9900KS, which I 
briefly mention, and that is that it's going to be not a 95 watt TDP chip like the 9900K. No, my friends, it's gonna be 127 watt TDP, which is great. I mean, honestly, at least they're being slightly more honest about how much uh, thermal heat dissipation is gonna be going off of this chip because the 9900K is not a 95 watt part, not at all. And I doubt the 9900KS is 127 watts, but at least it feels like they're admitting, yes, these things run hot. That's, that's what I, I want from them. It's just the, the admission that we got, we got spicy boys. And then quickly, I forgot to mention this, but Asus has unveiled two new X299 boards in anticipation of Intel's new Cascade Lake X series chip. We've got the ROG Rampage 6 Extreme Encore, and then the X299 Strix Gaming E Two. And in case you want to watch our video of the original X299 Strix Gaming and see how long ago that came out and see how bad our production quality was back then, you can check out that video right up there of the X299 Strix Gaming E review by UFD Tech, which was your boy back in like two offices ago. And then IBM announced that they have actually produced their most powerful quantum computer ever, going from a set of 20 qubits on their quantum computer to over doubling that and coming out with one that has 53 qubits. It's only a matter of time before all of our cryptography is broken. You can never have a secure system again and quantum computing ruins everything for everybody. But you know what's not gonna ruin anything for you? Max's new white fans. They're called the Squa RGB fans. I hate the name, love the look. They announced those today. And then Western Digital also announced their new hard drives coming in in up to 18 terabytes capacity using a new technology called Energy Assisted Magnetic Recording. You can get them in 16 and 18 terabyte flavors. Holy crap, 18 terabytes in a single disc. But you know what you can also say holy crap about is Samsung's new announcement of their PCI Express Gen 4 SSDs, which come in ridiculous portions, such as a 13 terabyte NVMe SSD, which is just insane. Eight gigabytes per second read, four gigabytes per second write, 13 terabytes. Holy crap. Samsung, still the top of the SSD leaderboard in my opinion. Uh, we'll see if anybody else can catch up. Obviously, Corsair and Gigabyte all were happy to launch their Gen 4 SSDs, but you just had to wait for the king to come and slam it down. Speaking of slamming it down, Tinder, they have announced, or not announced rather, this is a, a rumor right now, a pretty official rumor, that there is going to be a TV series for Tinder where you swipe right to continue the story. I'm not making this up, I hate it a lot, and I'm moving on to the next story, which is slightly just as bad, and that's Apple wanting to trademark the term slow fee, which is slow motion selfies that you take with the front facing camera on your iPhone. Nobody's ever gonna use this. Stop, stop saying slow fee. It's never gonna catch on, Apple. Stop it. Speaking of Apple stuff, Apple Watch 5, there's been reviews coming out and it turns out that even though Apple didn't quite disclose this, it is indeed using the same processor as the Series 4. It, Apple made no claims to performance improvement on the Series 5, so it does make sense that it's using the same. So in case you wanted a faster Apple Watch, it's just gonna come through firmware, not hardware. And Facebook has been rumored by multiple different sources though, working on an augmented reality headset similar to what Google Glass was a few years ago. They're actually partnering with the owner of Ray-Bans, which is Luxottica. They own Ray-Bans, Oakley, and all of that. And that's also who Google partnered with in order to make Google Glass. Apparently, they're preparing it, and this is called Project Orion, to come out somewhere in the region of 2020 23 to 2025. Hopefully by that time, it can be a standalone device where you're actually able to use it in a way that's meaningful as a replacement for all of your other mobile devices, which could be good. That's kind of where augmented reality needs to go as a standalone thing, not like the, the HoloLens from Microsoft where you need tons of, st it's no thank you. Do you love small form factor computers? Well, PicoBox has a power supply for you, 56 millimeters, up to 250 watts. It's crazy. You can power an APU system with this and just like make it the size of the mini ITX motherboard. That'd be amazing. You don't need any space. But you and I are gonna need space to just realize that our privacy is gone completely. Because 
There are millions and millions of medical records now available on the internet thanks to 187 servers that have not been locked down at all. 16 million medical record scans, which include names, birth dates, social security numbers, x-rays, a whole bunch of different information that's just published out on the internet. And when asked about this hack, people were just like, yo, this is, this is not a hack. This is like walking into a house that has its door open. They, nothing's secure here. This is totally violates HIPAA and the e-health or, or the electronic health records stuff. It's just, come on, come on. Stop trusting your welfare to people who can't even secure a server. I'll tell you what, that's probably what you need to ask. Next time you're dying in the ER, ask them, hey, are my electronic medical records sealed behind a lock server? Hmm? Hmm? I need to go ask that when I go see my son after this. I'll tell you that. And then previously we reported that YouTube is removing its lean back mode on its TV web browser for watching YouTube on your TV. And not only are they removing some nice functionality that people enjoyed, they're making it worse by adding an entire full page TV ad banner on the home screen of YouTube. And when asked about it, doesn't this kind of defeat the purpose of being user friendly? They were just like, it's one click to move down and then you can be past the ad. This is ridiculous. But I love it because we get paid based on YouTube ads. So keep the good work up, YouTube. Love you. Give us the cash. And Oppo is gonna give you a fully charged battery in 30 minutes. How big's the battery, you ask? Oh, just 4,000 milliamp hours. This is thanks to their 65 watt Super VOOC 2.0 charger. I'm pretty sure it's V-O-O-C, but VOOC is a cool thing to say. Oppo should be de debuting this on October 10th. Whew, 65 watt fast charger, 30 minutes for 4,000 milliamp hours. It's crazy. And then more phone news, the Coral Pixel 4 has appeared in a billboard on Times Square. So in case you wanted what looks to be slightly orange Pixel phone, oh, they leaked that. I mean, the Pixel 4 is just basically the most leaked phone of this year. It's crazy. Google themselves, they're just leaking it. And then in a wicked turn of events, we finally have an American US bank, I'm sure there's others, but big one, Wells Fargo has now turned to using cryptocurrency to handle some internal um, money transfers that are going on and to do it across borders so that it's real time instantaneous, kind of what the whole premise of Bitcoin was, but they invented their own. However, they're not calling it a cryptocurrency. They're calling it distributed ledger technology or a DLT platform, which is essentially the same thing. This is the reason why so many people believe Bitcoin was the currency of the future is just because it is super useful for accounting stuff and just making sure that you have instantaneous transactions across multiple borders without a whole bunch of complications. It's unlike the ACH, ACH system, which takes a long time to happen, but is super reliable. Uh, so the plan is that they're going to roll that out in 2020 and start off with USD transfers, but only internally. But Wells Fargo adopting cryptocurrency, especially it's weird because they also banned the ability for you to use your bank account to purchase Bitcoin on like things such as crypto exchanges. So they're, eh, hey, stop, stop, stop being a hypocrite. Hey mom, there's something in the back room and I'm pretty sure it's the creatures from the above. I know the CIA would say, what you hear is all hearsay, but the Navy says it's real. That's the latest report coming out about Thomas Delange's new, new company to the Stars Academy of Arts and Sciences. They released some video previously about an unidentified object that was flying around saying that clearly this is a UFO. And in case you don't know, Sir Delange is a noted UFO uh, enthusiast talking with people from the CIA all the time. If you watched any of the documentaries on uh, Blink-182, you know that he's just a UFO nut. He started a company to the stars, a whole bunch of stuff going on there. And when they released this, he actually was on the Joe Rogan podcast talking about it and Joe Rogan thought he was an idiot. A lot of people thought he was an idiot being like, that's not a UFO, what is this? Well, the Navy has actually come out and confirmed that yes, this is indeed an unexplained aerial phenomena and we just don't have any explanation for it. So the Navy confirming what a lot of people thought was a hoax, not a hoax. Tom DeLong proved right again. Ah, I'm not like you guys. 12 majestic lies. I'm out of here. Thank you for watching this. I gotta film another hot news for the hot news channel. We do gaming news over there now in case you didn't know. So in case you want that, subscribe there. Hit the like button on this one. 
Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech related content. Check out Displate at displate.com forward slash UFD tech official. Enter coupon code UFD to save 15%. I've been Brett, you've been the audience, and I'm done. Goodbye. I'm not like you guys.